Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Stand Gamers, and welcome. So today, we're touring the server. This season has all been about planes. Players are now on the second week, so we're going to see what creations they have been building. So this is the IRS base, and a big focus by Shay and the team on this one has been focused into building the actual base in these first two weeks, and I have to say, these chains that hold down this central spire are fantastic. This is, this is something I haven't seen before, and when I came over to this base, I was very, very impressed. Combine that with the glow of the magma from below, and this base really looks like something from a supervillain's lair. Isn't that fantastic? Let's have a look at the crafts below. Now, when I had a chat with them earlier this week, they've got a lot still to do within the inside, and they've got more aircraft to build, but they've got some of these tiny little red fighters. We'll turn our light on. We'll try not to glow too much. And these fighters are quite efficient. So you can see they've got the missile pods, or the holders for the missile pods on either wing. They've got a nice landing system there to the rear as well. They've got their utility craft around here, complete with one or two small tanks. Very nice. Some little rovers to run around in, and another fighter there as well. They've got these really cool pads around the side that I quite like to look at, though. And I think they've also got a printing system down here. Let's have a quick look, trying not to get blasted by that jet engine. So, yeah, a rotating piston printer down there below. A really cool base indeed. We'll dive into the top section for the moment, and we'll see what sort of interior has been constructed. So, not too much for the moment. They've got some levels that are under construction, holding the various rotors and hinges that hold the chains down and then you've got the central spire so there's plenty of room in here for more things to be constructed but it is just a hollow shell for the moment so let's move on to our next base now we've arrived over at the rab airstrip and this airstrip is absolutely beautiful we've got these lovely bunker light hangars we've got three helipads and we've got the base constructed itself now rab did lose quite a few of their grids in an attack recently so let's have a look what they've got left They've got this cool little transport aircraft here, complete with a face that has stuck on it in an event, cheekily of me. You've got the cargo interior here that's quite a bit rough, and it looks like it's received some cannon fire as it's been out on a mission. Look at them, look at them little holes. That'll be great. Look, it's been strafed across the top as well, really receiving some damage. So we've got the main airstrip here with a little bit of a ramp. Some players don't think about a ramp, and when they fall off the end of the airstrip, they can't get themselves back on. Coming up here, we have got an RAB helicopter, Look at that, complete with weapons and hellfires in the wing and a little searchlight for searching. We've got one of their utility grids with welders on the front there. I like the look at this utility grid, it's very detailed, very nice. Coming over this side, we have got a 3D printing ship of some kind so they can print ships up from the ground. A nice idea. And then we've got the bunkers themselves. So let's dive into each one of these heavily reinforced bunkers. Oh, look at this, it's like something from a movie. We've got these advanced sort of stealth jet aircraft in each one of these hangars. Look at that. Well, that's really cool. Let's have a look what these armaments. So they've got the sidewinders on the wings. They've got themselves some cannons. And I think these are either a heavy fighter or perhaps even a bomber. I can't really tell them with the categories. It's, we'd have to count how many blocks it's got. But I think it's attached to the ground. So I won't be able to do that. Let's go over to the next one. This hangar has two larger aircraft. Look how big this one is. Wow, this is lovely and detailed. And I guess you feel quite protected building in here as well. Because your aircrafts aren't going to just be strafed and destroyed. They've got to destroy the bunker too. Well, this is lovely, really impressive work with these bunkers. And they've got these little wing access ramps there so they can hop in on board. This is a double seat one. I saw this one in the event. It was really impressive. You've got the weapons operator and you've got someone looking out so they can pop flares and dodge the missiles. Let's head over to the next bunker, see what's in. Oh, there's these little searchlights as well. Well, not searchlights, streetlights. 
that illuminate the airfield. We'll have to turn it to night in a moment and see. So in Hangar 1, we have two more fancy-looking plane aircrafts and a very chunky-looking A-10 there as well. Look at that. That's futuristic, isn't it? It's got these big intakes on the side here. Cannon at the bottom. Full weapons payload to the side there. Unloaded at the moment. Fantastic. This is a lovely base, RAB. Really nice work. And we've got a little helicopter on one of the helicopter pads here. Let's continue moving forward. We've got a little gun truck here, a little MRAP with a cannon on the back. And then inside the RAB facility, we've got another very, very beautiful interior. Look at these orange sections. We've got some little hover ships as well for utility in each one of them. We've got a little buggy as well. It's like a halo sort of quad with hellfires on the roof. Now that would be deadly. So cool little base there. Let's go up to the upper floor and see what's going on up there. So they've got this little bridge splash command deck so they can control the turrets. A very nice base there, RAB. Let's move ourselves along. Next, we've headed over to one of the cold, wintry poles, and this is the TIS base. So let's have a look what TIS have been working on. They've got these large strategic looking bombers here. Very cool. It's got like a little bit of a mini interior as well. We've got this a very loud helicopter over here. Let's have a look at this. So is this a transport or gunship? Oh no, it's like a gunship. Look at them cannons on the front. It's got one of them large 57 millimeters. They've got their construction or utility miner up there. And they've got this large hangar. Now coming around the back of this large hangar in this semi-constructed area, we've got these really nice fighters here as well with side winders on the wings by the look of it. Is that a cannon on the side or in the belly? So it looks like one on the side there. These are really cool little fighters. They've got two of them and their base is still under construction. So they've had a bit of a focus on a few aircraft and also building a bit of the base. But let's have a look at the aircraft that are in the hangar. So we've got another one of these fighters tucked away here. Some utility grids, I'm guessing, so they can weld things up. And as we come through this hangar, I can't wait to see this complete. It's going to be really nice. Coming into here, we've got ourselves a propeller-driven aircraft. So this looks like a Messerschmitt. It's not similar to one we saw in an event the other week. And then coming over to this hangar, we have a larger fighter. Look at that. That's super cool. And we've got this smaller one here. We have to have a little bit of a look at that one though, because I don't know if it's going to be over the weapons limit at the current moment in time. I'll have to do a count up of the blocks afterwards. Coming to the side, we've got another one of these trucks. So these are one of the spawn grids that keeps getting repurposed to be these little flat cannons. So this one's got hydropods on the back. It could be quite a useful defense system, to be honest. But there we have it, the TIS base. We'll have to see what it looks like when it's completed next week. Next up, we are at ANA, and I will say to some of the solos, I am sorry that I've missed out some of your bases. There's just not too much there to cover at the moment. I think it'd be better to cover them outposts in perhaps week three when you've got a few more items together. But I wanted to have a look at ANA's base because they've got these really nice looking aircraft. So we've got like a transport aircraft here, complete with seats on the side, so you can have pilots or passengers bail out and attack the enemy if needed. We've got this larger sort of fight. Well, I say larger, it's not quite large it's quite a small compact one and then we've got this off spray grid here and this certainly is beautiful and deserves some appreciation so we've got two rotors stacked on top of each other we've got rotating engine bay cells on the side we've got a ramp towards the rear and inside there yes there is a little transport vehicle as well so this this is really nice we've seen off sprays built before but every time we see another one it's, it's built a little bit differently and of course this being a larger grid i believe it's allowed the full weapons payload but do let me know if you are playing on the server we, we are running a point system for the weapons at the moment so if you see any grids that are over the limits let me know and i'll have a chat with the players and see if we can resolve any of the issues but very very nice complete with logos of ana Nice work, Alice, on this one. Looks fantastic. It'll be interesting to see how this base comes along. I wonder if this is going to be an airstrip on the top here. And then you've got this little cargo production area temporary there for the moment. But look at that. It's a nice little canyon. I'll try not to give too much of a location away, but it is a nice location for a base for sure. So the next one's not quite a base, but a cool creation by one of the players. This is Bandana D's Butters aircraft. Now, he's been filling the supporter lobby with various different things about this aircraft, telling people how indestructible it is. And in return, it has been shot up. But it does look really cool in this sort of semi-destructed farm. The other day, I don't think it had a wing. It completely got torn off in a battle. 
but it's a really cool larger transport aircraft and inside there is an accessible interior that has been shot up that new texture on that block is looking fantastic within that build and combining all these block textures really allows you to build a battered and weathered aircraft let's continue on so now we've arrived at the gmc carrier GMC have been giving me and the team a bit of a headache this season just by creating crazy things that push the limits of the game. Newer players to the server often do this and it's, it's not a big deal, they just need to understand that the server and the space engineers is still quite limited in what you can do on a server and get away with it without it clanging out. So there's lots of craziness going here, we've got a truck with a missile launcher on the back, we've got these smaller gun trucks, the wheels need to be lifted on that grid. But through here, they've got production. It's, it's a really nice carrier. It's just sad that I know from it in the past, these larger carriers like this really struggle to move around the planet. And when they do, if they impact too hard, they can phase into the ground. But still a really nice idea. It'd be fun to see someone try to land on this while they're driving it around. We've got a helicopter on the top deck. I believe this is one of Von Ruger's helicopters that must have been captured or perhaps bought by GMC. Then we've got these little hover drone like aircrafts on the top representing some helicopters these look like they've got either custom pods or maybe custom bombs underneath maybe it's just a cargo hauler got some large caliber weapons and a little cockpit down there so very very cool it'd be nice to see if this works it's it's a reasonable scale so it could work but it's just it's going to be hard with them wheels them small wheels under there it's going to get stuck on a lot of objects as it's moving it looks like they've already had some problems fitting the wheels to it so yeah it's, it's going to be a difficult one this it's a lovely idea and it's nice to see but i just don't know how effective it will be in the long term sort of strategy so let's take a quick look now at g's base so g's base every season of planes we see g's bf 109s and i always say G, are we going to actually see you fighting these? Because I think they've only seen action in one of our playing season. In the other ones, they have been built and then Jesus has not managed to have enough time to play. But these are really nice 109s. They're quite heavy and quite big on the big side. But if they do get up into the air, then large wing surfaces allow them to be quite manoeuvrable and deadly. But let's continue on. So the next aircraft we're actually looking at, this is Lil's small outpost. There's not too much of an outpost for Lil. Most of his focus has been put into building this large aircraft. So this has got cockpit in the center. And it did seem like it could be potentially quite a good aircraft, but it did struggle within our last battle or PvP style scenario. So this one's got these little thrusters at the rear. One thruster's fitted, still under construction by the look of it, but at the moment it's taking a little bit of a hidden airstrip within this forest hilled area. So it'd be nice to see if Lil develops the base a bit further and also develops uh, this aircraft and makes it into a bit more of a, a competent flight craft i mean one of the issues with it i believe is little couldn't climb aboard but it looks like that has been resolved with that ladder at the back let's continue on so now we've arrived at mop space mop have got this really cool quite futuristic airstrip with the aircraft strip and leading into this sort of protected area to protect the aircraft from ground vehicles because ground vehicles can be a bit of a problem on this server it's got this bunkered mine vehicle area there so that they can do some vertical plunge mining and they've got an entrance way over on this side. So they do have a full length runway if they want to. I like how they painted the stripe up the door. You could accidentally think the door's open there and just land and crash into the door. But I guess that's not going to happen. They're probably landing on the other side. So coming down here, Mop have got some nice little signs up. And they've also got their main production hub inside here. So quickly diving inside here, we've got some fish. Let's have a look. Uh, <laughs> some signage as well. I'm not going to go too much. You can pause it if you want to read it. We've got the aircraft over here. Mop came to the party the other day with some really interesting looking, very modern futuristic fighters that you can see here. And this is like a, some sort of helicopter transport, I'm guessing. It's got some area to the rear. Oh no, it's not transport, it's just got thrusters at the side there. So a helicopter in design, very nice. And then they've got one of these trucks. These truck designs seem to be getting all over the server at the moment. This is a flying truck by the look of it, complete with the plushies on the front. But a cool little outpost from Mop. It's going to be nice to see how they develop this further forward. Now, finally, we're on to the Zap base. And this is another example of a great solo base. There's so much going on here, and there's a lot of construction left to do by Zap. Well, they've got themselves these little miniature fighters that can be quite combat efficient and agile with the missiles. They've obviously got some of these other fighters that have taken some damage from events. Sometimes having a smaller fighter like this is just more efficient for a solo to rebuild. They've, of course, got the obligatory flying car. And then they've got this tower with wind turbines and spotlights up on the top. It looks really cool. It looks like it's almost being supported up. It'd be nice if them spotlights track targets as well. So the printer on this side 
and there's still a building left to be constructed. The runway itself is quite short, so I wonder if that'll be extending if bigger aircraft are built later on for Zap. But well, that is the look at our server. Like I said before, I'm sorry if I didn't manage to cover one of the other grids or one of the other bases, but I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.